Hello everyone. Well, I just stepped out of the Discord chat and uh, I found it interesting that, oh, how God just guides us all together. You know, I, um, I too feel like I, it's just really hard to talk to my family and, and more and more I see things, I see the darkness, so I, I tend to get frustrated because, you know, I don't know. I, if I don't feel Jesus in it, I want to feel Jesus all the time, and I, I see that we're, we're all going through the same thing, you know. Um, <clears throat> and what God led me to, well, yesterday I tried to make a video, and, and I admitted that I was cranky, and it's almost like the Lord put me through a little study over, over a day. Um, kind of told me or reminded me there is a such thing as righteous anger, you know, and <clears throat> and he reminded me of that time, you know, in the Garden of Gethsemane when when Jesus asked, "Can you guys not just can you pray for one hour?" I mean, these were his disciples. They knew him, you know, and and they seen his miracles and he said, "Can you just can you pray for one hour?" And um and then, you know, I just kind of realized, like, you know, that that's how I feel with my family. You know, we know it's one thing to plant seeds, but it's like, that's all we do. And then we have to deal with whether they look at us or answer. You know, it's just like a one-word answer. And um, and that's how I feel. It's just like, can can you just, can we just talk about Jesus for more than two minutes, you know? Um can we just talk about him for one hour and it not be feel offensive, you know, because it's amazing. He's amazing, you know, and, um, you know, when, when we try to explain to people that the Lord is talking to us, it's like, we don't want you to feel any jealousy or, or think we're crazy. You know, it's the absolute truth. There's many of us, you know, it's not just me. And we're trying to tell you that you you too can hear the Lord's voice, you know. Um, and, you know, just forgive me. I'm always winging it, you know. I, I wanted to sit down and, and do a, uh, a Bible study with the Bible in my hand, but that seems to be the way it goes. Like every single minute I get in my house, I get stopped by something crazy. Like yesterday I... I wanted to make a video and my daughter had stepped on a nail and we didn't know remember when her tetanus shot was so I had to stop what I was doing and I got done with that then my son called and he needed clothes washed and we don't have a washer so I had to wash them in the in the sink and throw them in the dryer and then when I got done with that then my boyfriend comes home it's dinner time and it was parents night and and this morning you know farmers are off work and and my point is it's just Everything just stops me from just wanting to talk about Jesus, but I guess I don't need that, you know, because he lives within me. But my point is, is that he showed me something. Um, he, sorry, I'm walking by neighbors. He showed me something this morning that I got excited about, and it was, it was uh, the scripture passage about the good shepherd and the gate and how he's the gate and I recommend you go read it and I wish I could read it to you right now but it was just very inspiring because it had the word watchman in it but I believe it referenced Jesus as the good as the the watchman not you know how we see watchmen but I just thought it was amazing how um, we have these watchmen and we recognize the spirit in them we recognize their voice and they only speak by going through the gate, which is Jesus. And I don't know, you just have to read it. You, you guys know how it is when you read read God's word and all of a sudden the Holy Spirit just comes over you and it gives you a peace or a understanding of letting you know you're on the right path. Um, but as for you guys, you know, out there, I guess these videos are, are for family, you know family left behind, maybe not right now, but my brothers and sisters in Christ, and uh, I too, you know, some days are good, I might get my kiddos a little bit more, get their attention a little bit more, or my
boyfriend or a friend or my sister or people that I'm trying to share this joy with, you know. Um, but I can't get them for more than 10 minutes. And then I have to sit there and I see them try to understand me. And they're watching videos of Egyptian gods and, and you know, the two minutes it does reference to Jesus is just, they're just totally missing out, you know. Um, but God sustains me, you know, he's a good God and we're going home soon. There's no, you know, there's no way he could have started all this and not have a finish line, you know. Um, we've never been through this before. This has never happened in history. So, you know, we know it's true. And, and for instance, like I saw a comment on somebody else's, um, you know, rapture video. There was somebody that commented on there, you know, you're leading people to hell. There's no such thing as a rapture. We have to go through the tribulation. And later on that day, the Lord reminded me, of course, I know that's not true, but I, he reminded me like, that's so not right. And they're so ignoring the fact that there's thousands and, you know, hundreds of thousands of videos of rapture dreams and, um, so those people are missing out, you know, you know, I, I, there's these days where I feel alone. Um, but just, just tuning in to hear my brothers and sisters and just fellowshipping with them on the discord, even if I didn't get to speak, um, it just, just soothes my soul because I see that we're all going through the same thing, you know, oh, for instance, like my son, He's awesome. I'm so proud of him. I love him so much. But, you know, he's a teenager and he's he has his, his thoughts, his opinions, his problems. And and I can't help sometimes but just be like, you know, just give it to God, you know. And, and, he, and he got upset with me and he was like, Mom, he's like, I can't even talk to you because everything you say, you just reference it with God, you know. And and to be honest, I'm just telling the Lord, like, Lord, I don't know how to talk in this world anymore now that I know that you are real, you know. Um, and I know my son will get it eventually, but, you know, because I know what it's like to have a mother gone or, you know, I just, I don't know. And then my daughter, of course, and, you know, and just... I'm just so grateful that the Lord has brought me this far and all of us together and and what he showed me, you know, can you not pray with me for one hour? Can you not talk with me for one hour? You know, prayer is a conversation with God. So Jesus wanted to feel the same peace uh, and he was teaching us how to have a conversation with God. And now we know and we just want to talk with our loved ones um, giving them God, because really we're giving them the, the word and we're giving them Jesus that lives within us. And if we went through the gate, um, which we did, we believed in Jesus, which was the gate, he's living in us, you know, and, um, you know, and he comes on stronger and we feel the Holy Spirit and we've learned how to recognize it in different ways. And somebody said on the discord, you know, what we experience, you know, we'll take to the grave, you know, you're not going to take away that dream that I had where everybody was dressed in white and I had little girls in front of me, um, playing with each other's crowns and I screamed joy. <clears throat> um, you just, you can't take that away from me on top of all the other things, which speaking of, by the way, the other day I was, I was sitting on the end of my bed and I was just like, I felt like I didn't feel the Lord or I was just kind of confessing sins and just just in a weird state, you know, um, tired of looking at anything around that is not Jesus, you know, like movies make me upset because, you know, a girl shooting for some reason the next minute she's in lingerie, like, come on, those are just, they're just, anyways, I was sitting on the end of my bed and, um, my boyfriend was watching a, a video 
And as I'm just sitting there in a daze trying to talk to the Lord, I look over and he's all into this video that's talking about ancient lamps and how there's this one lamp out there that is forever lit, you know. Um, and right then and there, the spirit in me was just like, Jesus answered me and he had no idea. But, you know, obviously we keep our lamps lit and... And then he, my boyfriend tells me, he's like, isn't that amazing? He goes, he goes, how, how is that lamp still burning consistently? And what do I answer? God. And I just, it's like, I can't even keep my mouth shut sometimes, you know? And, uh, and one day in heaven, we'll not, we won't have to keep our mouths shut. You know, that's what he showed me too. He showed me that even if we're planting these seeds and we only get to have a conversation for two minutes you know I live in farmland obviously you can see I live in farmland I'm my boyfriend's a farmer and we do our own garden and planting seeds isn't the funnest thing to do in the dirt with manure you know you you plant seeds but then I thought about when they grow and the tomato plant and and how it smells and and the excitement of the first little sprouts and you and you watch your garden grow that you planted seed by seed by seed by seed and um, I think you know I know there's a verse out there that means we won't be able to see the fruit sometimes and it's like the Lord he just he just figures out a way to keep you content he knows we don't want to be angry even if it's righteous anger you know um, oops, I can't see. Hold on. Okay. Um, he knows we don't want to be angry, so he gives us these little, these little visions and these little thoughts and that he downloads in our hearts and he fills me with joy again, you know. Um, the seeds we planted, they will sprout, you know. Just like he promised Abraham, um, our descendants will be like the sand on the seashore and uh, and the stars in the sky whoever believes in Jesus their household will be saved it might not mean that your loved ones get to go to heaven when we go in the rapture but they will be saved and and as hard as to know is that seven years of how hard it is seven years isn't that long you know it's really not so um, the Lord, the Lord will take care of our loved ones, whether they go or they don't, you know. Um, and I just, I'm just actually just glad I got to make a video and don't know if my face matters, my words matter, but, you know, God is good on my side too. I've had some days where I'm frustrated, like yesterday, because I'm, um, I don't know. I just, I want to spend as much time with Jesus as I can. But at the same time, I thought, like, for instance, yesterday I was frustrated that I had to stop what I was doing, go, because my daughter stepped on a nail, and then I thought to myself, I'm like, Lord, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I love my daughter, of course. I don't, I don't want her foot to hurt, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> but we did that, and it's over with, and she was fine. And, and I just want my kids and my loved ones to know that I love them so much and and they might be confused and think that they can't connect with me and it's it's just because I'm shedding layers like onion you know like I'm tired of the same old talk or the same old music or another movie or or gossip or you know my hair's turning gray because I haven't got my my hair done but I don't care about that and um I just don't care about money I don't care about any of it I just care about Jesus, you know, and they keep trying to make, like this morning, um, you know, there was this conversation about addictions, and, and I just feel like, you know, people think even, that they'll come up with anything, you know, me, me obsessed with Jesus is an addictive personality, and they're trying to figure it out, and no, it's just because I love Jesus. But more than anything, I just wish I could share this love with my loved ones. And um, I guess just knowing I'm not the only one going through it, 
uh, I guess it makes it okay, you know. Um, and the point is, is I just love you guys, and I hope you all have a good day, and and hang in there, and wait upon Jesus, and and we're we're on the right path. Jesus is the gate, you know. Um, we are brothers and sisters, and He lives in us, and. God is in him and God is in us and we are all uniting um, I mean with different different talents and different connections like he has me connected with you know like a girl Jenny in, in, in Italy and Kathy Crane that you know you know that you guys I pray for you and and he has brothers and sisters that are really suffering and and my heart breaks for him and how he did all this in one year it's just just amazing and then you know he, the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want you know um, but okay I'm coming up on some neighbors so I gotta let you go I really hope you all have a good day and uh, I don't know what you got out of this I wanted to give you more but it's just we're one more day closer okay and um, I love yous you know, it's all about love. All right. Talk to you later. Look up. <laughs>